Hi everyone and welcome to this first flipped learning professional development session and in increasing your self-efficacy in working with technology. The first piece of technology we're going to be working with is going to be Google Chrome. Now I'm doing this because the Department of Education has recently uh, advised that they will be discontinuing support for Internet Explorer uh, and that they are now pushing out Google Chrome as the default internet browser. Uh, this is causing a lot of frustration for some teachers as they get used to the differences between Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. So today I'm going to take you through a, through a few very basic skills uh, to help you get more comfortable with Google Chrome. Now the first thing I want to look at is actually accessing Google Chrome. You are probably all used to logging onto your classroom computer and coming down here to the taskbar and clicking onto the Internet Explorer icon to launch your Internet Explorer. Now we can add Google Chrome to our taskbar and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we need to do of course is click on our start menu. In the search box all you need to do is type Chrome and Google Chrome will automatically appear at the top. Now if I right click on that icon, it brings up a menu with a range of options. We're looking for the option that says pin to taskbar, which is just here. If I click on that, you can see now that Google Chrome has attached itself to the taskbar down the bottom. So if I now click on the Google Chrome icon from my taskbar, it will launch straight away. Now, you can see that it will automatically take you to google.com or google.com.au rather. Um, and on mine, you'll see that there are across the top a range of bookmarks. And here, there, is, there are eight icons. These are the eight most recent websites that I've visited. And this will vary, uh, obviously, according to what you're doing in the classroom. So the next thing that I want to show you is how to make it so that you can access the bookmarks bar because a lot of you will be used to the Internet Explorer bookmark system, uh, which has a range of folders from memory down here on the left hand side. So the first thing I want to do is show you over here in the top right hand corner, these three horizontal bars. This is your control panel uh, for Google Chrome. If I click on that, there are a range of options um, for things that I can do with Google Chrome. We are looking for the bookmarks uh, menu. So. I click on the bookmarks menu, opens up another menu, and we want to make sure that this option here, show bookmarks bar, has been ticked. By ticking on that, this bar is visible and will be locked up the top. Uh, so if you want to make all of your bookmarks, your websites that you access on a regular basis, um, easier to get to, uh, I strongly recommend that you make sure this is ticked. Now there are of course going to be a range of different websites that you are going to want to access on a regular basis. Uh, the most obvious one perhaps being the Department of Education portal. So what I want to do now is click up the top uh, into my URL bar, which is a also a search bar. I don't need to go to google.com to conduct a search anymore. I can type straight into the URL bar. Uh, so I'm going to type in DRT portal and hit enter. Google will do its thing. And the first option is, of course, the portal. I click on that and I load the page up. Now, to add this website to my bookmarks bar, there are two options. The first is I can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control D. The other option, if you're not comfortable with keyboard shortcuts, is to come back up to the Google Chrome option menu, go to the bookmarks bar again, and the very first option is bookmark this page. You can click on that one. Now it will come up with another with another a dialog box and it will say bookmark added, but it will then give you an option to actually change the name. Uh, so if you have a website that has a very long name, uh, which some of them do, you can condense that down to something that you will be able to recognize and know what that website is. So I'm quite simply going to call this DET portal because that's what the web address uh, still shows. The other option that you have here is the folder option. Now, some of you may be people who like things to be highly organized. Um, if you have a folder, if you go to a lot of different websites pertaining to a particular um, KLA area, you might like to have all of those organized into a folder on your bookmarks bar for that particular KLA. You can see on mine here that there are a couple of folders. I've got one for football, 
uh, in my weekend life, I'm a soccer referee, and all of the websites that I access on a regular basis pertaining to soccer, to football, um, are bookmarked under that folder. And you can see there's a couple of different options here, um, and this will depend according to what how you have your Google Chrome structured. If I simply want to add it to the top here, such as I've got Twitter, I've got my ComBank, my YouTube, uh, if you just want to make it accessible very easily, select Bookmarks Bar, select Finished, and there we have it right there. I can click on that, it will load the web page up. That's a really easy way to add Google Chrome to your taskbar and to set up your Bookmarks Bar as well. Now, if you want to create a new folder for your bookmarks, if you are someone who is highly organized and likes things to be filed and sorted, um, I will show you now how to create that. Uh, in bookmarks, if we go to bookmark manager, it will bring up another tab. And here I have the option to set up all of my folders. If I click on the folders uh, icon here, I can add another folder. Uh, for example, if I want to create a folder for uh, mathematics, if I want to create a folder for mathematics, all I do is type in mathematics, and you can see that straight away, mathematics, the folder, has been added to the bookmarks bar. Any website that I add will automatically appear here. Um, a lot of the websites that I access in regards to education, to schooling, I have obviously filed under the education folder. Uh, anything relating to my football, my referee, um, is under my football folder. Um, and you can very easily structure things. If you have a lot of websites that you access on a regular basis, you can very easily structure it so that it's easy to keep track um, of what is where. But so that you've got your basic two or three websites, such as the department portal uh, and central, easily accessible across the top menu bar. That's all for this video. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, come and see me during the week or send me an email. Um, the next video we will uh, have a bit of a look at some of the other tools uh, that are now available to us uh, now that we are using Google Chrome. Thanks very much.